Hello, my name is Amanda and welcome to another one of my quilt block tutorials. In today's video I will be showing you how to make the hashtag block. And this here is the block, it's a little bit big to fit into the screen but you'll see what it looks like throughout the video. So this is a great little block for you beginners out there who want to do something just a little bit different, a little bit more mod, a little bit more cool. This block is so easy to piece, I guarantee that you'll have it done in no time at all. So I encourage you to have as much fun as you can making this block. Switch around the prints, switch around the colours and values, make it your own and yeah, just have lots of fun with it. So here's how you make this awesome little block. To make this block you will need to cut three 3 inch by 9 inch rectangles from one fabric, then two 3 inch by 9 inch rectangles from a contrasting fabric, and then two 3 inch by 13 and 1 8 inch rectangles from the same fabric as the last. And just in case you missed that, all of these details are in the description box below. Begin by laying out the two smaller printed rectangles, sandwiching them in between the other three smaller rectangles. Starting from the left hand side, flip one rectangle over on top of the other, and then pin together once they're squared up in place. At the sewing machine, sew a quarter inch seam along the pinned edge. Open out the two sewn rectangles, then flip the next one in line on top of the printed rectangle you've just sewn. Pin the two pieces together and then sew a quarter inch seam line along the pinned edge. Open it out again and flip the next piece in line over, pinning and sewing down the edge in the same way as the others. And then flip, pin and sew the last rectangle into place. At the ironing board, gently press the seams on the back all in one direction of your choice with a medium to hot steamy iron. Lay the stitched piece on your cutting mat with the rectangle sitting horizontally to you and then carefully cut three even three inch strips using a ruler and blade. Separate the three strips and place the two longer rectangle pieces between them, creating a hashtag design. Next, separate the top three rows from the bottom two. Flip the top piece over, pinning it in place once all the edges have been squared up. Then at the sewing machine, sew a quarter inch seam along the pinned edge. Open out the two sewn pieces and then add on the next strip in line, taking care that the centre seams are in line with each other. Carefully pin the edge in place and then sew the pieces together using a quarter inch seam. Open out the growing block and then flip and pin the next rectangle strip into place. And then join them together with another quarter inch seam line. Flip the last strip over and pin it in place. And then sew one more quarter inch seam along the pinned edge. With your iron on the same setting as before, gently press the seams inwards towards the long rectangle strips. Then turn it over and give the top of the block a gentle going over as well. And then lastly, square up the block so that the final measurement comes to about 32.5cm squared or 12 and 3 quarters inch squared. there we have it that is how this little hashtag block comes together well no it's not really that little I really do hope that you give this block a go it is so easy to make and is so effective once it's done and speaking about making blocks if you have any blocks that you would like me to demonstrate in the future definitely leave a comment down below and I will add it to the list if you are new to my channel and would like to see more of the things that I do here, don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you come and join us as we make lots of cool, crafty things. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you another time very, very soon.
Bye.